Guys, uh, so I found the problem why the lights weren't working. Well, I came across this uh, build. Same thing, uh, it, it was a 2000 Cherokee Sport. I watched the whole video and all that, and I noticed that in the door panel, not the door, but once you open the door, has a, there's a tube right there. Well, I saw how many wires there were. And his lights were all working, all function, functioning, all that. And, well, I came to my truck, or Jeep, whatever you guys want to call it. And I opened it. More uh, details, I cut it open. <laughs> and, well, I checked the wires. In that video, there are more, a whole bunch of wires. And in this one, there's only two wires there. So, I'm thinking that's a problem. Of why the hazard lights and the uh, turn signals are not working at all. I could start it up right now. Because I'm in the car right now. So we got like the radio functioning. We got the. I'm trying to see if I can flip the camera. <laughs> no, I'm playing. We got. See, we have the front grill out. Because this light wasn't working at all. This light right here wasn't working at all. This light was the only w working one. And the other light, same side, was working. We took out the grill. We're going to put some uh, uh, lights here. And, well, you see, cracked right here. The dent right here. This side, another crack. Like, whole car came like this as it was well also the tires sports xj you see well that is my car right now and if you look I don't know what I'm looking for, but right here, oh, let me put the flashlight there. Right here, this is the thing I, I opened. There's only two wires here, you can see, and there's supposed to be way more wires in there. And well, this is how the car came. The truck, whatever. I'm about open back here. We have a Motorola. I forgot what this was, but uh, the company used it as like pretty sure, like for radios because they had a company phone in the car. car was from Illinois if I'm correct let me check my the registration previous owner was out it was out of state previous city was Hatesburg Minnesota I think no nah. Mississippi. Should be Mississippi. And, well. Pretty sure. I don't know what they did. 
but they got the foam out. They let the whole bunch of wires here. You can tell. Sorry about the four cameras, but they also left this bunch of wires here. And well, that I'm gonna get out of the car completely. Oh, the sun's out. Get out the car completely. This tail light doesn't work. Only one side works. I don't know why. This side works. They must have, like I said, did something with it. And I don't know if y'all can hear me because I have my headphones on. I have my headphones on. Let me see if I can get the other one on. Shoot, sorry for the light. <laughs> and we'll hold, let it let it adjust. All right, that's better. Everything's working. All that the lights are working. Like the regular lights, as it is, is working. I had to replace one side of the light, which it was going to look like it was winking if I didn't replace both lights. I got them both out, changed and all that. And did the lights, we need the new front end. We're going to get a new bumper, like I said in the last video. Uh... We're gonna get. I don't know if I can switch the video. No, let me see. No, I can't. But as you see right here, we have the four. Oh shoot, you can't see it. Oh my bad. We have the four by four high neutral and all that. Then we have the drive uh, as a regular. It should have windshield wipers, saw that. Need to replace the windshield wipers and I polish my, I need to polish the windshield. That's also a good thing I learned. Whenever you yeah, have squeaky uh, windshield wipers, whenever you don't want to uh, replace them and you know they're actually still good, you use a polish. Uh, yeah, a polish, and you just polish the windshield, and it's just perfect. It doesn't scratch the windshield at all, it doesn't leave anything. Just go around and off, and it polishes, and you can't hear the squeaks for a while. But, as I was saying, car needs a lot of work. The other headphone died. Sorry about that. Let me put the foam down. Sorry about that. Uh, I said the relay boxes were completely empty. Which was also another thing for the headlights. And the... And the... Turn signals, hazard lights, all that. And... We have to get the... I forgot what it's called. I call it transfer for the 4x4 and all that. Like I said in the last video had trouble going I'm debating whether I should change the rear brakes to plate brakes because right now they're drum brakes and well I had a difficult time getting them off last time when I was putting on tires and we were trying to see what else uh, was a problem when we were going forward because I took off the brake and had to drive. The car wasn't moving at all. It had to put gas a little bit for it to move. And well, it had moved barely. And well, my dad went to try it on the street. <laughs> my dad thought uh, he messed up the transmission by doing the burnout. 
I also thought that too. <laughs> but it wasn't that. It was just a transfer because I made a mistake of thinking that I knew how to do the 4 by 4 And, well, my mistake, I didn't know it. And while I was in park, I messed up the gears. That's what my dad told me. I messed up the gears by moving in around. And, well, that's completely my fault. I take full responsibility for that. But other than, other than that, <laughs> we have a nice, sturdy car, truck, whatever. This is for my, that's my glove box. We have to replace the doors, not the doors, but the armrest on the doors. Because we have the handle here and uh, I forgot what they're called. Uh, to lower the windows, the handle there, there is not automatic. It's a 1995 Jeep Cherokee. Uh, I'm replacing both of them because just having one different from each other is not going to be the same. Also, my plan for this car is not spending a lot of money. Just get the cheap, quarterly, good quality uh, brands that I can put on the car. I'm not going to put like anything serious because this car is only too like mess around on like dirt roads streets and all that and well of course i'm gonna put in a new radio uh whenever i turn in, turn on the car actually the ac won't turn off if i switch it to heat it won't turn off at all either it will just stay on cold no matter what the weather condition is i might have to get that replaced. I already have one. I have a. Uh, I saw one on eBay for about twenty eight bucks, and well, for me that's not hard to get. That's not hard for me to get access of uh, the money. Of course, I have to work for it, and I don't. I don't get any allowance or anything. I work for my money. I said, I said it before in my last video, but hopefully this is not my only build because I am in the future going to be buying this car off from my dad if it's not completely wrecked, I hope. But yeah, we're going to completely fix this car up. Well, I'm going to fix the car up. Because my dad said it himself, he's not gonna help me with anything. He's just gonna like do very little things. He's gonna just tell me what to do. Well, most of the stuff I know how to do. And well, we're gonna go from there. See ya.